Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on day 13 of riding a Honda monkey bike all the way around the UK. Now I started off at Hunstanton on the east coast. I've already gone up, I've done Scotland, I've come back down, I've gone through Wales, I've gone into Cornwall, I've gone all the way down to Land's End and now I'm making my way literally across the country. And every day brings on something crazy, cool and exciting. So let's find out what today brings. Cue the intro. This adventure is supported by Kais Heated Apparel, Gerbin, Road Skin Motorcycle Wear, keeping you mm, toasty and safe throughout your adventures. Well, let me show you exactly where I am on the map, where I'm planning on going, and where I'm going to end up by the end of today, if all goes according to plan, hopefully. Anyway, let me show you. So I'm here in a place called Sheldon, and my plan is to get to Bournemouth just over here but I've said I will visit the trailer mechanic um, and it's a little workshop that I'm planning on saying like popping in for a coffee because the guy that owns that place offered me um, camping at his farm and you know help me out and all that stuff so I said I can't do any of that because obviously I'm staying in hotels but I will just pop by for a coffee so I'm gonna go along here just pop up here Enjoy a nice coffee, have a chat, he's got an awesome bike to show me, and then from there I am going to gun it, literally, back down to the coast, along, and to Bournemouth. That's my plan, to give you an idea of how much I've done, I've set off around here in the east coast, and here in the east coast, and set all the way up, all the way around, all the way there, all the way down, and to there. Well, you probably can't see, but out there it is absolutely chucking it down, because today is just nothing but rain. But, with all that said and done... I'm looking forward to going grabbing coffee, catching up with the um, guy at the trailer, medic place, and then I'm looking forward then to travelling to Brighton. The reason why I'm desperate to get to Brighton tonight isn't just because obviously I need to do the miles, but there is a patron called Ben Davy. there's a subscriber called Ralph Davy. obviously Ralph's the dad, Ben's the son, um, and they massively support the channel and they're so positive in the comments, and I've said to them I'll go and see them today like this evening and hopefully they'll give me a tour so i'm desperate to get there i'm desperate to see everyone today but every day brings different challenges and more people and i just hope that i can get those miles done and get there in decent time to spend time with them if that makes sense um, and not get too caught up anywhere else but we'll see what happens anyway time to put all my stuff away i've got stuff all over the place get on the bike and let's just get going. Let's make this happen as we always do. Well, this is where I stayed last night. And do you know what? It was a lovely little place. It was well rated, very polite, very nice. And uh, this morning, when they asked me to breakfast, I was like, unfortunately, I was like, I am. Um, I was like, I'm really sorry. I was like, I can't eat another fried breakfast. I spent too many days on the road. Um, and they asked me what I was doing. And of course, I turned around and said, I'm riding a monkey bike around the UK. And I said, oh, you must be brave riding it in November. You're really cold. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's quite chilly. I didn't have the heart to tell them I'm wearing Gerbin heated gear and I don't feel any of the cold whatsoever. Oh, bless them. And even offered to make me a bacon sandwich this morning because I'm, cause obviously I didn't have any... Bre oh, I had a pan of chocolate because I trended I was posh. Um, so I had that. They offered to make me a bacon sandwich um, to take with me for my lunch, which was really sweet of them. But again, I've just got nowhere, nowhere to put it. And I don't really stop for lunch because... I'm too mindset about riding and doing stuff. Whoa. And this here is where all the boats are, where I stayed last night. And I came in over this bridge and it was just all lit up over the houses and stuff. And it was beautiful. Um, but obviously in the dark, there's no point on recording it because you're not going to see much other than some sort of lights in the distance. Unfortunately so. I'm already waffling, aren't I? Right, here we go. Let's get out of Dodge. Look at this beautiful bridge. Bada boom, bada bing. There's something about the boats that always makes me go, I wish I had a boat I can go and paddle around in the sea on. Like a, I wouldn't really want a boat though, well, I've been a lord. I kind of want a, I want a yacht. No, a motor boat, yacht, I don't know. The ones where you don't actually have to physically do it, but it looks really cool. With a helicopter, whatever they are, that's what I need. They're a bit small for me, to be fair out there. Anyway, let's go and see the trailer. I think it was a trailer medic 
and uh, let's go and get this coffee and he said he's got a really cool bike to show me um, and he's going to ride into work and it's going to pee it down all day sun's over there but we're going that way where it's dark so stuff it waterproof day it is as i said earlier right let's just get some miles under about let's get there it's only 34 miles to go um yeah it's a good day isn't it day 13 13 days wow beautiful place to visit though cornwall i'm telling you it's it's something special green means go right i'll see you in a minute So I've stopped for a coffee and a chat and we've been chatting for quite a while now but I'm going to get the, um, I'm gonna get the guy to introduce himself, say where we are and he's got something really cool he's going to be doing next year. So I'll let him tell you all about it. Hi, my name's Ant. Uh, I own a trailer company called Trailer Medic and um, I've badgered this chap to come on up for a cup of coffee. I did offer him some camping but uh, I know time restraints and that you want to kind of crack on a bit really but saying that you've been here most of the morning so it's been nice though yeah, it's, it's been a nice chat enjoying the sun yeah it? it's actually yeah. sunny it's yeah. supposed to rain all day so yeah a bit of luck <laughs> it's um yeah i mean well it's a no-brainer you're doing a one two five trip we we're literally living the dream on one two fives as well for the cgs tell us all about what you're going to do on them so uh we we've got a slightly crazy idea and, and i think it's off the back of watching people do stuff but we've got an idea to take these two bikes to do the Land's End, John O'Groats, but we want to come back again. So we want to go there and back. Yeah, so you're literally doing the country almost twice, aren't you? Yeah, um, we're planning it. We're going to keep it fairly open. We haven't got dates sorted yet because uh, myself and Jason, who's hiding in the box trailer, um, it's, it's persuading the family <laughs> to let us go out and play. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just sweet talk and leave yeah, yeah, them, do yeah, what do i yeah. do leave the other credit card at home yeah, exactly. and just go don't spend much <laughs> but we're, we're aiming to do it within about six days wow that is a challenge yeah that's impressive so it's one of those things you go yes yeah, great idea and then reality kicks in we are doing a twist on it it's not so much about us we want to do it obviously we're going to raise money and that will be down the line people will see that but we almost want to do it as a tribute to yeah. everybody that does do it yeah because let's face it it's a very popular we want to raise some money we want to do a trip it's a lovely trip so we almost want to we've got a little film crew going to come along and we're going to do do it as a tribute yeah and i want to thank you to everybody else that's, that's really done, done this kind of stuff in the past so it's going to be a bit of a twist on it where can people see it when it happens um it, it will be youtube um and it'll probably be uh through um the guys which are filming it which are team twinlock yeah they currently do a lot of off-road videos um and, and more that essentially but they're a little bit nuts like us so they're like we're in we're, we are <laughs> in. we're gonna do this um, we're gonna be very spoiled um, there's a lot to plan and i say we're still figuring the dates out but it's it's gonna it's be ambitious. good then it? it's gonna be yeah. proper epic try it. and then the other thing as well because i'm always rubbish at telling everybody where i am and i just point in a map and i don't know if it's in focus can you tell me exactly where we are and oh, also your point. business what you're doing yeah, sorry yeah so so you ventured up to a little village north torton yeah in devon yeah which is near oakhampton if somebody wants to go no we need a larger town to find it <laughs> so um so trailer medic is uh, a repair business we we just repair trailers up to three and a half tons it could be horse trailers box trailers but anything that's pulled by on a car basically and it's busy since we've been here he literally keeps putting his head out because it's one person after <laughs> another after another so you just ram with work yeah. and i've literally said to you, do you want a plug and you were like going i'll take one but you don't need it because you're obviously good at what you do um cool awesome bikes and obviously i look forward to seeing the adventure that's going to be really cool but thank you for having me and thanks for the coffee it's great that's great and, and it's that whole uh we always say it's the bike of camaraderie it, it, everyone just keep an eye out yeah everyone's yeah, looking after everybody out. literally these trips prove that everyone is just yeah everyone just looks after each other it's, it's lovely, lovely to see the actual machine i know Never mind the you, beast the actual machine. <laughs> that's the real champ yeah, but yeah, it is, yeah yeah it's still going that's cool anyway i'm gonna get back on the road but thank you very very much no worries all right see you later dude Well, how nice was that? And do you know what? That is, <laughs> I go to myself, right, I've got to get to Brighton 
198 miles and I said to myself I'm going to pop in, I'm going to have half a coffee, half a coffee, have a coffee, half an hour and I'm going to be gone. Um, I've got to do the mileage. I can't help myself. Oh, I start yabbering, he's a really nice bloke, we're yabbering about the bikes, we're yabbering about life, we're telling about trips. I don't know how long I've been there. It's 11, half 11, I don't even know what time I arrived. <laughs> but it's so lovely and it's just, it's always the same. They've got an amazing adventure coming up. Um, and they were saying how inspirational it was that I'm doing what I'm doing and stuff like that. But I just love, love to see, like you said, the biking community and love to hear that like, he's going to go off and do that ride to there and back and it on his 125s. And they love them. They love their little one, their 125s and the passion's there. And it's just it always proves that anything's achievable. Anything's achievable. You just got to go out and do it, and then just roll with the punches if anything goes wrong and stuff like that. And uh, but enjoy it. An anything can be fixed. Anything can be sorted. Um, the only thing that's ever against anybody is time and money. Um, but sometimes you just got to go. I might not have a lot. I might not have this. But I'm going to give it a damn good go and just enjoy your life. Anyway, now I've told you how to transform your life and be a very happy person. Just buy yourself a little one two five and go on an adventure. Anyway. Right, let's do biggish miles. I'm obviously going to have to stop quite a bit. I'm desperate to get to Brighton. I don't even think how much I'm going to get there. That's same 340. No way. I'm going to probably be there for about five o'clock, but I want to try my best to get there as quick as possible. I want to spend as much time as I can with Ben and Ralph. Um, and I love the point that it's a father and son, and they both enjoy the channel and they both ride together. Um, it's just lovely. So, and I'm Brighton. I'm excited about. It. Obviously, mods and rockers, people. I'll tell you all about the story about mods and rockers in a minute. If you've not heard about it, I'll tell you all about it because it is such a lovely story. Right, here we go, miles first. Well, I've just done actually a big chunk of mileage, but when I set off from um, the trailer place, it said that I had 198 miles, something like that. I'm riding along and I kid you not, I must have done about 15 miles at that point. And then the sat nav changed to 230 miles. And I'm going, am I going the wrong way? And I even, even, even made a phone call um, using the comms to say, can you just check the uh, tracking links? I don't want to stop, just see if I'm heading in the right direction. And I am. So what I'm guessing is that Google Maps yet again has gone, oh, there's traffic on that road, so we'll divert you and do that and do this. And that's just chucked on loads more mileage. Um, so I've got 175 miles left to go now, so I've just filled up the tank, so I've got to my two bars again, but um, <laughs> it's added a bit of time on, but I am going to get there, because when I set myself a goal, I really set myself a goal, and for me, obviously, being uh, Ben's a patron, I really want to go and spend some time with them, because at the end of the day, regardless of anything, all the videos that I make, I think I do, it's free, I get that, you watch it on YouTube, it's completely free, and for people to become a patron, and you know and basically support the channel when they don't have to in any way with their sort of harder money it's it, it, you know it touches the soul and one of the things is is that I know I can't give them um, I can't give back you know what they already do for me I just can't give it back but my way of doing it is if I get opportunity of course I'm gonna go out of my way and spend some time with them and this is just my way of saying thank you in some ways but I can't wait to get there because I can't wait for them to show me Brighton and how cool will it be we've also just done over 2880 miles total for this trip the sun is straight in my eyes so I look like I'm squinting back on the monkey bike I would want to get at least another 75 miles before I stop again and then I'll only have 100 miles left to go but I am going to make it I'm going to see them I'm going to get there it's cool and we're doing well and it is a hammer job it's a hammer 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 job because the sooner I get there the quicker I get the earlier I get there the more time I can spend with them um, I need to sort our hotel as well yet yeah. I'm trying to find something with parking it seems that in um, in Brighton that a lot of places charge you to park there or they're very limited and obviously I'm on the monkey so I can get it in anywhere but I need somewhere that's going to be secure and safe um, I don't know we'll figure out as we go as always but the bike yet again is performing well I'm going to do a quick another quick walk around another quick check and then we'll get on the road the chain it looks like it's slack, slackened off a little bit, but it doesn't look uber bad. I might have to... Uh... No, it's not touching the top. That's quite cool. Well, let's just check out the old Rory and David's welding. That's exactly in the same place. That hasn't moved either. Everything's good. The air filter's still being held on quite It hasn't come off yet. It's dipped down a little bit, but it's still being held on by the tie um, that Kev put on there. The exhaust that Scott welded still on, and it's just... It's just mowing now, those tyres. 
Oh, those tyres. Those tyres are something else. And I probably haven't mentioned this during this vlog at all, but I'm wearing these rose skin jeans and I really like them. <laughs> Everyone I talk to, they go, oh, how's the kit doing? I said, it's absolutely fantastic. I said, uh, wearing heated gear, it's like, it's game changing. Um, but I love these jeans. These rose skin jeans are like, so light. I said, you don't know you've got jeans and you don't feel the armor. And everyone's going to me, oh, you really like them, don't you? I'm like, no, like, I really, really like these rose skin jeans to the point where it's like, I don't, I think I'd struggle wearing any of my old pairs of jeans now. And they're, cause they're quite thick and ones that I go, oh, you can really feel the armor in them. but these are better rated and they're more comfortable and i really really like them i'm gutted i've ripped my waterproof i've now got a tape around here at the bottom down here rose skin were sending me another set because it was my own fault i split them but unfortunately because what's going on with all the postal stuff they haven't arrived and i'm gutted about that because i was going to pick them up from them um, chapter one diner but they'll forward them on to me so when i get home i've got another pair good old duct tape around the leg sorted right it's supposed to be raining as well actually like peeing it down today 80 percent or 90 percent whatever it was just torrential rain um but it's sunny and beautiful so i don't know what i've done to deserve this but one lucky boy all right back on the road well 75 yeah 75 miles and i'll stop and i'll probably get a, vi a vitamin drink and then just hammer it because ben and ralph they deserve some of my craziness <laughs> Well, I've done a massive amount of miles. I've literally got 76 miles to go and I'm in Brighton. I've hammered it and hammered it and hammered it, but I am starting to feel it. I was yawning away and I was like, I need to stop for a vitamin drink. And I was thinking this time what I'll do is I'll get myself some nuts because they've got lots of protein in and then I'll feel better. So vitamin D, C to Z plus some nuts will sort me well out. Well, I don't know what all the fuss is about, really. You get all these people that say, oh, you can't live healthy on the road and you just eat rubbish and all that. Well, I don't get it, really. I just literally then had a lovely vitamin drink and then I, uh, on top of that, I, uh, on top of that, I uh, had some, some, uh, some, some beautiful nuts and nut bar and I think very healthy and I'm feeling good. I'm wide awake and I'm, I'm good to go. Right, we've got 76 miles to go and we will be... In Brighton. Wow, the home of the modern rockers. Awesome. Now I probably haven't told you the story about the uh, modern rockers. Actually, I know I'm going to save until we get there. I'm going to tease you a little bit longer because I think it's a lovely story that should be shared. Right. Back to that old-fashioned thing. More miles, and it started sprinkling with rain. How very rude of it. They not know that I'm a lord. I do not get wet. And if I do. People come and pad me down. Right, 76 miles, but a boom, but a bing. Well, when I just stopped for a pee in the head, I just flicked down. There's so many notifications, but I just seen one from um, Ralph saying that they are heading to meet me. And I believe they said around here. It was a quick brief read because I was next to the main road. And I was like, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, because I want to get there. So hopefully, very shortly, we'll actually get to meet them. I have done incredibly well. The sun is starting to go down, but I have made it. I reckon more than 250. I don't, I'm trying to figure it out because I've done, said 230. Plus I did about another 40 or so miles I think this morning, so let's just make it 300 so it sounds good. 300 miles today, proper epic. Oh there they are. <laughs> Nope. Here they are. <laughs> How are we all doing? You alright? Yeah, you. Yeah, good man. You alright? 
Just shy about like a minute ago. Hang on, my sat-nav's talking away. Well, here we are, all riding together. It was a quick hello at the roundabout, a chat about where potentially to stay. Um, but they have said they are joining me tomorrow, but they're riding right now. They're riding me into Brighton together. Hopefully I'll be able to stay somewhere near where they live so we can hang out tonight, grab some food, some drinks, and uh, have a yabber about the world. But I'm just so excited to meet them because obviously you see, hear comments and like I said, Ben's a patron and it's just so cool to, to you know, hang out and talk about things. And yeah, it's just awesome. So Ben is on a Himalayan. I believe Ralph is on a Tiger 900. If I'm wrong, I'm just gonna edit that bit out. And um, we are heading somewhere we can capture some footage the heavens just opened and the rain came pouring down but um hopefully it's going to dry out again and we can grab a little bit of footage before it gets dark well we just come up to a massive hill i don't know exactly where we are yet again but to a lovely pub at the top of a massive hill um, and i was going to catch everybody on camera and the wind is going absolutely crazy it's pitch black and inside they're playing um obviously music so i can't physically film with ben and ralph um but they are following me tomorrow so the plan i have got now is to go back down here where the road is as you can see hopefully is is flooded <laughs> um or see more or less because when we come in we're like oh we'll go up this uh i can't remember what it's called so we'll call it knocky hill um so we're going to the top of knocky hill to uh be able to uh do this bit of filming and obviously pitch black wind, inside copyright, none of it's happening. Uh, so we just had a quick coffee, we had a quick catch up. They are coming with me tomorrow, so I can capture it all then. And then uh, you'll get some proper new faces. Um, and they're all gonna do me a little bit of a tour and tell me all these cool places that they're gonna be able to take me tomorrow. So I'm dead excited. Um, right now, I am going back to park my bike in their garage, bless them, uh, where it's nice and secure. And I've booked into a pub about a mile-ish away from them. Um, so we can enjoy a beer and a chat in the pub tonight. It's a shame, I want to capture it all on footage and show you all, um, obviously have a good chat with Ben and Ralph then, but hey, it is what it is. And arriving somewhere quite late like tonight, in a storm um, and major winds is, a, is, is part of the adventure, I suppose you could say. But yeah, it's quite cool. So we're about to go through another bit of fluid road in the pitch black as well. Earlier, Ben hit it about 25 miles an hour and then we had to just keep going as he went through it. So I slowed down, but it was like causing like the wake off of a boat as I went as I went through thinking this is getting deeper. It was more like a river crossing. Um, but hey, the intention is all good, isn't it? You know, we'll go up here, we'll do this cool filming. It doesn't happen, unfortunately. But we've got tomorrow. There's no rush, everything is good. Well, it's been an awesome day and I've been trying to capture them on camera, but because of the darkness and the wind, it's not happened. So they've helped carry all my stuff into the hotel room, literally so I can just film this. I'm gonna get them to introduce themselves and then tomorrow you will get to know them a little bit better. So can you just introduce yourselves so everybody knows who you are? Because all I've done is talk about getting here and then obviously I've uh, not been able to film it. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. My name's Ralph and this is my son Ben. And uh, we met up down in Arundel, this Did, afternoon. And we went and off. Following him, been up a place called Devil's Dyke. Is that what it's called? I called it something I shouldn't have called it. It's Devil's Dyke, <laughs> uh, through some immense puddles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the wind. Uh, like a river, wasn't it? It wasn't bit. could have done with a snorkel, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. And Ben, obviously you're a patron. Yeah. Um, so you've been from the channel and helping, support and everything else. So thank you so much, dude. Um, we're going to be riding together tomorrow. So we'll, yeah. we'll catch up properly. But you're on the Royal Enfield. Uh, Ryan, yeah. It's a black one as well, so it's yeah. well nice. It's the 21 model as well. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? And obviously you're on the... Um, Tiger 900, 900 with all the posh gizmos on that I still have yet to have a ride on one. <laughs> you can have a go. Oh, there we go. You can have a go on the monkey. <laughs> I love my Tiger. They look so good, don't they? Really it's cool. Bike, like well, we'll chat more tomorrow, obviously, but yeah. thanks guys for coming in and being on camera and everything else and running me around all, all night, but I'll explain <laughs> all that as things go on. Fun. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well, what a day it has been and what some mileage. But before I go through it, let me just show you the hotel. This is the Downs Hotel in Brighton. It's more like a pub, more than I'd say a hotel, but with rooms 
but it's it's all been refurbished recently. It's really nice. You can probably tell that already. £89 a night, though. So it's not cheap, but it includes breakfast. Let me give you a really quick tour, and I'll just go through all the crazy stuff about today. Well, I've dumped all my stuff everywhere, as always, because I'm in a little bit of a rush, because I want to go and enjoy um, Ben and Ralph for a few beers. But lovely double bed. I mean, look, you can see they've put some serious work into it. Um, and all the plugs, what sounds daft, they've got those USB sockets and make my life so much better. Nice big TV stand somewhere i can move stuff and do editing and what is cool a proper little coffee machine yeah with four satchels as well so they're not shrimping on the old coffee that'll keep me editing into the night and then yeah it's very small but basic but also got everything you need and obviously a very modern when they class it like a um, what's it a waterfall shower that means that i feel like i am somewhere warm and cozy and it's, it's coming down like a waterfall and i just look beautifully sexy in there doing all of that stuff and of course everything's modern nice and the most sexiest man in the world but 89 quid a night and it's on the outside of the place as well so i don't have to walk through anything it looks cool doesn't it it looks to me like it's worth the 89 pound as long as the breakfast is good in the morning well let's talk about today because what an excellent day it was in regards to miles i think i'm actually close to doing 300 miles today i 280 to 300 miles obviously i got to see the trailer medics obviously alex that was so lovely of them to invite me or for me camping for free and all this stuff but it's nice to get, chat to people again about bikes what a super nice guy hopefully i'll get to see him at the Helmhead festival if he decides to come because that would be really really cool then of course we just hacked miles today now the sat nav i kept trying to make it through the coastline it kept trying to get me on the motorways due to problems with blockages and stuff like this so i kind of went out and then i kind of managed to get myself in again and then it sort of took me out and around into brighton and nothing but a cool feeling to be able to see ralph and ben because they like i said they've watched channel i get comments from them ben is a patron i just love to spend time with people that love the channel the way that i do so to come around and round about and see him whoa was proper proper exciting then i was like let's go along a bit we'll get some epic filming the dark cloud came it threw it down and we were like it was like, oh, we'll go and do this hill bit and it was just the wind the bikes doing this we get to the top we go it's all right we'll go inside we'll get a coffee and they've got music blaring i was like i can't film any of it but i've got to spend some quality time with them then of course they've said to me they're going to give me a bit of a tour tomorrow so we'll get to meet them properly but it's just awesome to be here we've made it all the way to brighton i can't believe it all the way to brighton on day 13. I'm proper, proper happy. Anyway, they're waiting for me at the bar and they've already picked, already got me, picked me, got me a beer in. So I'm gonna go and spend some quality time with them and I will see you tomorrow for a proper tour of Brighton. And I will tell you in the morning the actual true story about why this place is so famous for mods and rockers. You won't believe it. Right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.